Three brand new contenders are hoping to go one on one with this formidable machine. Can any of them claim a £10,000 victory? It's time to find out on Tipping Point. Welcome to Tipping Point. Three players will be facing our machine and they're all hoping to win thousands today. So, let's meet them. I'm Jim, a tailor from Glasgow. I'm Carol, a retired childminder from Warrington. And I'm Jack, a finance assistant from Bristol. Good luck to you all. Let's play Tipping Point. So, round one, you each start with three counters. Questions are on the buzzer. If you buzz in and give me a correct answer, you'll have a choice to make. You can either choose to play one of your counters into the machine or, if you think the machine isn't quite ready, you can get one of your opponents to play one of theirs instead. Most of the counters you get out of the machine will add £50 to your score. That includes our mystery counters, which, of course, come with a bonus prize. But, also nested in the machine, we do have two double counters. If one of those falls for you, it will double the entire value of your drop. And should one fall with the jackpot counter at the end of the game, you'll be leaving £20,000 richer. <laughs> now, all three of you will be going through to play in round two, but you'll want to bank as much money as you can throughout the game. So keep an eye on those double counters because they could make all the difference. Right, everybody ready? Hands on your buzzers, comes your first question. After stepping onto the moon, the astronaut Neil Armstrong said, that's one small step for a man, one giant leap for what, Jim? Mankind. It was mankind, Jim, yes. So you get to make the first choice. Would you like to play or pass, Jim? Yeah, I'll play drop zone one, please, Ben. Let's fire up one for Jim, please. Ready to get started. Is the machine ready for you? Nice settle. Pretty central for you there, Jim. Anything coming over the top? Can you get that black counter down? Go on now. Yes. And is anything going to peak over the edge? It's going to peak, but nothing more, unfortunately, Jim. Just shuffles the tipping point, but nothing from your first drop. Here's your next question. In 2021, which Scottish First Minister was re-elected as Carol? Nicola Sturgeon. As MSP for Glasgow Southside, it is Nicola Sturgeon. Well done, Carol. Beat Jim to that one. <laughs> uh, Carol, would you like to play or would you like to pass? I think I'll try drop zone one. Let's do it. Fire up drop zone one, please. Jim's just shuffled the tipping point a little, didn't he? Can yeah. you get something over? Now, it's hit that silver counter. Hopefully, that'll go flat. It does go flat, yes. Oh, great. Now we need a really good shove here, Carol. Yeah, let's hope so. Set quite far back. The silver one in the middle going to go. Go on now. Yeah, oh. nicely done. Very nice. Ooh. <laughs> Lovely stuff, Carol. Great start. <laughs> Carol, eight across the tipping point. Wow. 400 pounds. Wow, good it's stuff. A very nice start for you. Let's take it and put it into your bank. Get you off the mark of 400 pounds. You've still got two counts left as well. Yep. Well done. Next question. In the Marvel comic books, the Incredible Hulk is typically depicted with skin of what secondary, Carol? Green. Colour, yes, he is green. Carol, are you going to play again or would you like to pass this one? It doesn't look quite ready to draw, so... OK. Sorry, Jack. No, you're going to pass it to you. Jack. <laughs> Fine, then, Jack, let's see what we can do. Your first counter, where do you want to put it? Um, I think I'm going to go for drop zone two. OK, and there's a mystery counter on the bottom shelf, isn't there? Let's fire up two, please. Can we get anything out of two? Settles nicely. We need the black and silver one on the right to come down. Go on now. Oh, no, Jack. Top I'm shelf, lucky. not I'm as lucky. generous as you'd like. They're going to stay there, sadly, pinned to the shelf, so nothing from your first counter. Here's your next question. In May 2021, Phil Mickelson became the oldest man ever to win a major title in which sport? Jim. Golf. It is golf, yes. Right, Jim, you're going to have a go or are you going to pass? Yeah, I think I'll pass. Uh, OK, to Carol or Jack? I'll pass to Carol. Right then, Carol. Jim's putting <laughs> you in the chair. Where would you fancy going? Um, I'll try drop zone four. Ooh, big change. Right, yeah. fire up four, please. Can we get anything out of four for you, Carol? Get a lovely first drop. What's your second going to be like? Slow finish, stays on its edge. Hopefully it'll be flat. Yes, it is. Oh, wow. Now, a couple over the top. 
Gonna buy a little shunt on the bottom. Anything coming out of here? Ooh, little pocket of space I think you've just filled. Oh. It's a good pass by Jim. Nothing, Carol, I'm afraid, from your second counter. You've still got one left to play. Yeah. Here's your next question. The first person to reach 100 million followers on Twitter was which American pop star known for hits including Teenage Dream and Firework? Jack. Katy Perry. It is Katy Perry, yes. Right, Jack, are you going to play or are you going to pass? I'm going to stick with Drop Zone 2, where I went last time. All right, stay loyal to it. Bar up two, please. Far off where your last one was. Can you squeeze and nudge those counters a touch? Yeah, two of them go over. And those other ones as well. Come on now, good shove, good shove, good shove. Oh, Jack, sadly. Carol was right, it wasn't ready to pay. It looks better now, though, doesn't it? It does. But you've only got one counter left, need to use it wisely. Here's your next question. On a 24-hour clock, 1,300 hours reverse to what time in the afternoon? Carol. 1 p.m. 1 p.m. is absolutely right. Right, Carol, are you going to play your last counter? Drop zone two looks pretty good on the bottom shelf, so I'll give it a go. Drop zone two, please. Jack's done all the hard work. You get the glory, Carol. Let's see. Let's hope so. Can you get that top shelf working? <laughs> How's that going to bring them down? We need the ones in the middle just here to go. Yes. Looks good. Tipping point looks like it might go unless there's a bit of space. Oh, well done, Cal. Four counters for you there, another £200. Oh, wow. Let's take that from the machine, put it into your bank. That's going to leave you on £600. You have now used all three counters, so for the time being, you are out. Yeah. Right, Jim, you've still got two counters left. Jack, you've got one left to play. Here's your next question. In June 2021, a rainbow LGBTQIA plus themed set titled Everyone is Awesome was launched by which Danish brick-building toy company? Jack. Lego. It is Lego, yes. Are you going to play your last counter? Or would you like Jim to play his? I think I'm going to go with Drop Zone 4. Let's do it. Drop Zone 4, please. Slides out nicely. So Carol did have a little shuffle on Drop Zone 4, but it didn't work. Can you go one better and get something out of the bottom end? Ah, oh, yes, oh. just Jack, just Jack. <laughs> £100, snuck over. Well done. With your last one in. Finally, we get you some money. Let's take that from the machine and put it in your bank. That's going to leave you on £100. That's all three of your counters used, Jack. So, Jim, it's just you left in, because it's just you. You don't need to use your butter. You do yep. need to give me the correct answer to this question to put those counters into the machine. Here's your first one, Jim. Which monarch was on the British throne at the beginning of the 21st century? Queen Victoria. 21st century, Jim. Oh. Queen Elizabeth II. Ah. I'm afraid we have to steal one of those counters from you. That's going into the penalty pot. You'll all be playing for that at the end of the round. Right then, Jim. Your last one. Again, you've got to try and give me the correct answer to put this into the machine. Here we go. Home to many ancient sites, such as Olympia and Argos, the Peloponnese Peninsula is part of which European country? Greece. It is Greek, yes. Well done, Jim. Right, can we get you some money with your last counter? Where do you want to go? Yeah, I think we'll go four, same as Jack. Drop some four? Uh, yep, please. Fire it up, please. All right, then, Jim, your last one in. We need to try and get you in the game by getting some money yeah. here. Two counters in your catch, Jack. What do you think, Jim? Is that the side you wanted yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Hopefully push something over there. Yeah, the mystery slides. Yeah. Oh, that's skipped up. And then going to go... Oh! oh staggers well. them forward. There's a heavy-looking shelf there, Jim. Yeah. But they're not going to go, I'm afraid. So, as things stand, Carol has £600, Jack, 100 Jim's got nothing in the bank, but it's not over. We have one counter up for grabs in the penalty spot. I'm going to ask you all one more question. If you buzz and give me the correct answer, you put this counter into the machine. If you buzz and give me the wrong answer, you will be frozen now. But right, then, Jim, you can really do with this. You're in last place. Yeah. Try and get you some money in the game. Good luck, everybody. Here comes your penalty pot question. In the Western calendar, 24 months is equivalent to how many years? Jim. Two. Two. Well done. You got there first. So you get your counter back. Yeah. Nicely done. Where do you want to go? Well, it's got to be four, Ben. Got yeah, to be four, hasn't it? Yeah. That's that four. What can we do here? Ooh, Spins on the set. the other side, but it might be OK. We can disrupt the tipping point if they can spread yeah. with a bit of lateral. It might do some damage. And it does. Oh, well done, Jim. Well done. Yeah. 
You did that. You did. <laughs> Great finish for you there, Jim. Seven counters across the tipping point, including the one that jumped out of the machine. Let's take that from the machine and put it into your bank. And that means at the end of the round, Carol is leading with £600. Jim is now in second with £350. Jack has £100. So join us after the break to see which today's three players will win through to our head-to-head -head and a shot at our £10,000 jackpot. See you in a bit. Welcome back to Tipping Point, where Jim, Carol and Jack are battling out for the right to play for today's jackpot. In this round, they'll each have 45 seconds to answer as many questions as possible. Every correct answer will win them a counter spray into the machine. However, this time, the player with the lowest score at the end of the round will be leaving the game. Right, Carol, you are leading after yeah. round one, which means you have the power to choose. You can play first if you think the machine's ready. If not, you could ask Jim or Jack to play. I think I'll go first. You're going to go first? I think okay, so, yeah. 45 seconds for you, Carol. Yeah. Every time you get a question right, I'll give you a counter. If you don't know, just say pass. Yeah. Okay. 45 seconds for Carol, please. Your time starts now. Kobe beef is a meat obtained from the Wagyu species of which farmyard animal? Cow. Correct. Sunita, rat tail and Eve's needle are all varieties of which typically spiny, succulent plant? Pass. Cactus. Which 2020 TV romantic comedy series stars Anna Kendrick as the lead character Darby Carter? Pass. Love life. The Whit Sunday Islands are part of which southern hemisphere country? Australia. Correct. A retainer is a custom-made device used to stabilise the position of which enamel-coated structures in the mouth? Teeth. Correct. The sports venue, Yankee Stadium, is located in which US city? New York. Correct. In astronomy, a cosmic year is the amount of time it takes for the sun to complete a single orbit around which galaxy? Uh, pass. The Milky Way. The Milky Way, of course. <laughs> Four correct answers for you, Carol. Not too bad at all. Four counts put into the machine. Right. So four chances to try and extend your lead. Where do you want to go? Drop zone two, because it's got a mystery there. Yeah, let's go for it. Right. Fire up drop zone two, please. <laughs> Can that settle for you? Just stay down its edge. Yeah. It's going to be flat. Oh, it's riding, Carol. Oh, it's our first one. Unlucky. Never mind. Not great, that one, is it? No, no. It just slides up and over. Mm. Right, three more to go. Where are you going now, Carol? I think I'll stick with drop zone two. Two yeah. again? Yeah. Timed that one brilliantly, really that's perfect. That's better. Yeah, yeah that's gets, much gives better. it a chance to get flat, doesn't it? Yeah. And there you go, three over the top. That's going to go for the mystery. Oh, nice. Well done. Oh, wow. Five counters for you there, Carol. £250. Brilliant. Pounds. Two more to go in. Stay in with drop zone two. Yeah. move. Yep, two again. Slowly nudging the mystery closer and closer. Ooh, just going to reverse on you. Let's see if it stays there. It's going to go flat. Yes, it did. Oh. It was on there for a moment, but just jumped off the back of that silver counter. So maybe if we get those two silver ones down in front. No, no. not this time. Very close, Carol. Tears. You've got one more to go in. Right. Stay with two? Stay with two, yeah. Two again, please. Oh, very bouncy drop. Not it quite was. on those ones. Oh, that did peel down, yeah. though. Can you get the mission forward? Go on, go on, go on, go on, go on. Yeah! Hey. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> Four more for you, Carol. So another £200. <laughs> 450 in total, not bad. Let's take that and put it in your bank, and that's going to leave you £1,050. You've also got your hands on a mystery prize. You've won a portable Bluetooth speaker, courtesy of Ultimate Ears. Oh, wow, brilliant. Fantastic stuff, lovely <laughs> yeah. prize. And you've got a good lead now of £1,050, so well yeah. done. Thank you. Right then, Jim, you are ahead of Jack, so it's your choice now. If you think the machine's ready, you can play. Alternatively, you could ask Jack to go before you. Yeah, I think I'll ask Jack to play for me. OK, Jack, you're up first. 45 seconds for Jack, please. Your time starts now. What is the surname of the US pop star who released the 2001 UK top 10 album, Britney Spears? Correct. The palmaris longus is a long, slender muscle located in which upper limbs of the human body? The arm. Correct. Which type of nut is typically one of the main ingredients in a traditional Waldorf salad? Walnuts. Correct. The Bone Clocks is a 2014 novel by which British author? Pass. David Mitchell. Growing to approximately 16 metres in length, the humpback is a species of which large marine mammal? Whale. Correct. Dalek's Invasion Earth, 2150 AD, is a film based on which long-running BBC science fiction? Doctor Who. Correct. 
Hainan is an island province of which Asian country? Pass. China. In the Olympic Games, how many players compete on a handball team? Ten. Seven. In the full name of the British Trade Association... Out of time in this one. In the full name of the British Trade Association for Tour Operators, what does the T in ABTA stand for? Did you know? I did not know. Travel, Association of British Travel Agents. Uh, you got five right, though, Jack. Excellent. It's a really good return, really, really good. You just jumped in on that one question. Daleks Invasion of 2150 AD is a film based on which long-running BBC science fiction TV series? Of course it's Doctor. <laughs> right, you're giving yourself a chance. Your first challenge is to catch Jim. So where would you like to start? Um, I'm going to start with Drop Zone 2, just because of those that are hanging on that top shelf. That yeah, they Carol look good, don't they? Set up. Carol left them there. <laughs> Let's see if we can shift them. Fire up two, please. Can we move with five counters? Five out. Catch Jim. A little bit of lateral to hit Carol's counters. If we're lucky. Yeah, there you go. Now, is the tipping point going to work? It's just going to fill up. Oh, it works very nicely. Good start. That'll do me nicely. Six counters. So you catch Jim with your first drop. £300. Four more to go in. Where are you thinking of going now? I'm worried that if I stick with drop zone two, I might not get anything over because of that gap. Mm. Um, so I'm going to try drop zone three. OK, not being used yet. Power up three, please. Double is not far away. You've got four counters. You could certainly get it in the wind zone with four if they land in the right place. Hammers down. Could get like, that mystery. Yeah, get that moving. And there's a nice little gathering between two and three, isn't there? Come on now. Mm. Not just yet. Three more to go. Staying with three. I will stick with three. Three again, please. Ooh. Just going back on you there. Hopefully, if this goes flat, Jack, yes. It's, it's flat. flat. Yeah, Can well we done. That silver counter in the middle down. Feels like the one we're targeting there. Yeah, with another black counter. That's going to move the double forward a touch. Nicely done. Ooh, oh, very nice. Right. Six more for you, Jack. Another £300. Going along nicely. Up to £600 in the machine. Two more to put in. Where do you want to go next? Ooh, I think Drop Zone 3 is being quite kind, so I'm going to stick with it. OK, let's do it. Fire up Drop Zone 3, please. I need seven counters to catch Cowan now. Four with the double. And it looks good there, doesn't it? That's it that stack you left first time. Oh, that mystery's not going. The mystery didn't <laughs> want to go just yet. Mm -hmm. It's going to cling on, and a few others are going to cling with it. One more to go in, Jack. What are you thinking? I think I have to stick with three. Drop zone three again. It's ready to go, it's isn't ready. it? It's ready. Yeah. I think if you hit the left, you get that down. If you hit the right, hopefully the double goes down. Jim is hoping they all stay exactly where they are. Oh, now that's good. Good broad shove. Oh, that black oh. counter. Oh. They're dropping and flopping and flapping. <laughs> oh. See that one black counter? There's a couple just. No! Oh, so they wow. did go as well, Jack. Excellent. That's another nine across the tipping point. Really fabulous finish for you. Another 450 pounds. So 1,050 is a great haul. Let's take that from the machine and put it in your bank. Last to first place. And £1,150. Very nicely done, Jack. Thank you. Right, Jim, bit of work for you to do here. Yeah. 45 seconds for Jim, please. The time starts now. In bingo, the call for the number 42 is often represented by the name of the fictional bear Winnie the What? Who? Correct. Jack Grealish is an England international in which ball sport? Football. Correct. Fishy Soise is a cold soup traditionally made from potatoes, cream and which green and white vegetable? Pass. Leek. For which 2001 film did Halle Berry win the Academy Award for Best Actress? Um, no, we need a baby. Monsters Ball. A spray tan is a beauty treatment used to tint which large external organ of the human body? Skin. Correct. The Pickwick Papers and Little Dorrit are novels by which Victorian author? Charles Dickens. Correct. What is the three-word stage name of the comedian Lee Ridley who used a communication aid in his routines? Keith. Lost Voice Guy. Four correct answers in there, Jim. Four counts put into the machine, so four chances to try and catch. Well, Carol it is now, because Jack's gone into the lead, so you need 14 counters out. So what are you thinking, Jim? Where are you going to target? I think I'll go for drop zone three, Ben. There's a mystery counter and there's a double counter. Let's do it. Fire up three, please. Mm. 
Could have done with it going flat, yeah, though, Jim. Yeah, preferred if it going flat right away, but... Is it going to be now? It did get flat. Yeah. OK, good. Fortunate there, Ben. Yeah. Can we move the black counter between two and three forward? That's the one you want to get going. No. Nope. Very, Honestly. very close. Needs a fraction more help. OK, three more to go in, Jim. Stay with drop zone three. Yes, I will. Three, three again, three. please. Yeah. Okay, so oh, it's flat. a bit more central. That's Hopefully, that can take that black counter in the middle out. There it does, and that one too. So, ooh, it's going to move the mystery forward. Are they going to get going? Ooh! ooh. Oh. <laughs> They're amassing time. nicely on the tipping point. One counter did drop for you, Jim. Let's give you fifty pounds for that one. Okay, I'll stay with drop zone three, please, Ben. Drop zone three, please. That's not far yeah, off, flat. is it? That is not far off. The mm. silver one's through the middle. Mm. Go! No, oh, yep. So close to going, isn't it? Yep. Got one more to drop in. Stay with three? Yeah, I'll stay with three, Ben. Stay with three, yep. please. Nice Big drop for you now, Jim. It is, yeah. We need the double, we need the extras. All riding on this one. Can we shift that silver counter and the black one down? Yeah. Squeeze. The silver one goes. And those oh, ones do oh, as well. Oh, they've gone forward as well. The double's going to get close. Oh! Yes, oh, oh, wow. really close, yeah. Jim. Wow. You needed 13 more counters to catch Carol. That's 12 across the tipping oh. point. You've just come oh. up fractionally short, I'm afraid. Yeah. It's £650. When we take it from the machine and put it into your bank, we can see just how close it is. There is only £50 in it. There's barely anything between the three of you. Yep. So, sadly, we're going to lose you. The good news is the mystery prize has fallen into the wind zone yep. for you. That's a bonus. You've yeah. won yourself a three-night family glamping break, courtesy of Atlantic Surf Pods. Oh, lovely. Wow. Yeah. So hopefully that. a bit of a consolation, yeah. Jim. That's a great effort, but sadly, well done, that means we're going to lose you because we're at good the luck, end of the guys. round. Jack is leading with £1,150. Carol sneaks through with £1,050. <laughs> Only £50 in it, but, Jim, I'm afraid that means with £1,000 we have found your tipping point. Of course, you have just won your glamping break. Thank you so much for playing. Thank you, Ben. It's been a great experience. It's been lovely to meet you. So, as Carol and Jack will be going head-to-head -head after the break for the right to play for our £10,000 jackpot. Now, though, your chance with an amazing cash prize. For £16,000, go to the website. Entries cost £1.50. Text WIND to 6339, text cost £1.50, plus one standard network rate message. Call 09041 61 30 30. Calls cost £1.50, plus your network access charge. Or post your name and phone number to TP226, PO Box 7558, Derby DE10NQ. Entrance must be 18 or over. Lines close at 10am on Monday. Welcome back to Tipping What. We have just two players remaining, Carol and Jack. Well done to both of you for getting this far. Thank We're you. We're about to find out which one he's going to take on the machine for our jackpot today. Great comeback in that last round for you, Jack. I know, it couldn't have gone any better, really. Yeah, you were under a lot of pressure there as well, <laughs> put into play, but it's come out brilliantly. And now there's £100 between you, which is nothing at all, Carol. You're playing catch-up, but we've got a couple of counters ready to go along the machine there. Yeah. And that double not far away as well, so this could be very interesting. Uh, in this round, you're each going to be asked three questions alternately. On your question, you can choose to answer, or you can pass it to your opponent. If you give me a correct answer, you put the counter into the machine. If you give me a wrong answer, your opponent puts the counter into the machine. Whoever has the most money at the end of this round will be today's winner. They'll be playing for our jackpot. As you are now leading, Jack, you get to choose. Would you like the first question? Would you like to offer it to Carol? I think I'm going to play. OK, first one for you then, Jack. Which publisher, named after its two founders, released the romance novels Holiday Kisses and Falling for Her Italian Billionaire? You can play or pass this if you're not sure. I think I'm going to pass on that one. You're passing this yeah. one over, Jack? Listen, yeah, I'm, I'm not too confident with that. Right. So yeah, I'm going to pass. Carol, have you read Holiday Kisses or Falling for Her Italian Billionaire? I've read lots of novels, but not, not those of, two. Um, no. Can you think of any publishers? Um, Mills and Boone. Mills and Boone. Yeah. Okay. Jack, what do you reckon? Have you heard of Mills and Boone? I have not, I'm afraid. You've not heard no, of Mills and Boone? Okay. I haven't. So, Carol, if you're right, you steal this counter. It's the answer, Mills and Boone. It is Mills and Boone. Very well nice done. They're well known for their romantic novels, Jack. You'll have to get into them. <laughs> <laughs> Carol clearly knows her romance and her publishers. <laughs> yeah. Let's romance the machine here, Carol. Where do you want to put this counter? Um, there's a double on the end, so I think I'll go for 
drop zone four. OK, we're going to go yeah. from the left to and drop zone four. And there's a mystery there, yeah. but needs a few more shoves. <laughs> Let's try it. Fire up drop zone four, please. Could be good if you get it. That double on its own will be enough to catch Jack. Oh, it's that side as well. Now, if that goes flat, Carol, what a time to steal. Oof, you might be onto it's something here. Yeah. What do you think? Not sure. You need a couple over the top. Needs a good shove. There oh, you go, wow. that might do it. Oh. Oh, it's right Never on Never mind. The, right on the edge, Carol. Yeah. It's a great steal. You set it yeah. up beautifully. I was convinced it was going to go. <laughs> yeah, so was I, Jack. Yeah. Somehow, <laughs> it's managed to hold on to the tipping point. It's not going to go, but... Carol, you keep control. Time for your first question. When listed alphabetically, which of the US states, beginning with the letter W, comes first? I've got a good idea. I think I know what this one is. Right. Um, Jack's not giving much away. I think I'll go for it, Ben. You're going to go for it? OK, yeah. and what are you thinking, then? Uh, I think it's Washington. It might be Washington. Yeah. OK, if you'd pass this over... Jack, what might you have said? I think I would have also You'd gone with Washington. Washington as well. Yep. OK, you both feel like it's the right answer. Let's see if it is, Carol. You've just put that double right on the edge. Can you get your hands on it? Is the answer Washington? <whistles> yes, West Virginia, Wisconsin and Wyoming. Yeah. But it's Washington is the one we were after, Carol. You put a counter into the machine. Where should we go? Drop zone four, please, Ben. Fire up four. That's not going to take much at all, but the top shelf doesn't look a dead cert. Unless this is accurate. And certainly Wrong not from side. that side, and it's drifted. Is it going to be flat? Oh, it is, yes. Might nudge that mystery one if it's, something goes over. Yeah. That silver one goes. You need a bit of lateral to get to the double. And you just squeeze the bottom shelf. Bit of a shuffle, Carol. Nothing. Never hard mind. Work. <laughs> You're doing the hard work, but the machine's yeah. letting you down. Right, it's Jack, you're still in this. Down. We come back to you. Time for your second question. Okay. In the 80 Years' War that began in the 16th century, the Dutch fought for independence from which European country? I feel like it's going to be one of those questions that I'll kick myself over, but I think I'm going to have to pass it as I'm, again, I'm not too confident with that. Not sure. Right, Carol. Um, I've got a good idea. I'm not 100%, I have to admit, but I'm thinking it may be France. I think it might be France. Yeah. OK. Jack, what would you have said if you'd had to guess? Now that she said it, I, yeah, I think I would have also gone with you France. I would have gone with France. Yeah. Let's see if Carol's right. If she is, she steals another counter. Is the answer France? No, oh. it was Spain. Spain. It was Spain, <laughs> not France, sadly. Carol, you were wrong. Jack, you get the counter. Finally, Carol slips up, so you get to put something in the machine. Where should we go? I think it would be very sensible of me to continue with drop zone four. I, I want that double counter. It's so. all there, isn't it? Yeah. Fire up four, please. What do you think? Yeah. I'm not sure if that's going to tip <laughs> over. Jeff going to go. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> it's so close. <laughs> and that's just staggered over the top and isn't going to let go. That's very Between you, you're working really, really hard. <laughs> Nothing happening. <laughs> Nothing. Well, a lot's happening. Nothing's falling, yeah. Carol. <laughs> yeah. Right, we come to you, though. You do get control again, Carol. Time for your second question. Right. After 15 seasons, which US fantasy drama TV series created by Eric Kripke about two demon hunter brothers concluded in November 2020? Now, you can pass this if you're not sure. I'm not really sure on this one, Ben. I think I'll pass it. Does it ring any bells for you, Jack? I've got something in my head that may be right. I'm not quite 100% sure, but I'm going to go for it. All right. I'm going to go with Supernatural. You're going with Supernatural. OK. Have you ever heard of Supernatural, Carol? Uh, no. OK, so Jack isn't sure if it's right. Is the answer Supernatural? Yes. Oh, well done, Jeff. Amazing. Sadly, Carol, Jack steals that one from you. Yeah. So let's put something in and see if we can get something out, Jack. I think it's got, got to go this it, time. Yeah, it's yeah. got to be drop zone four. It has to be. Light up four, please. Oh, 
Oh, now, surely. It's the right side. It's a, yeah, it's going to go now. Top shelf feels like it's ready. Oh, it wow. is. Oh, and is the bottom going to go? The double's right on the edge. Oh, oh it does. Well wow. done. Well Some done. extras as well. 13 across the tipping point, which is £650. But, of course, that double dropped. A lot of time and effort went into getting that out. And that means we double it up and give you another 650 so £1,300 in one drop. What a time to strike like that. Let's take it and put it into your bank. You can see what that's done to the scores. Puts you on £2,450. Your job just got a little bit harder, Carol. It certainly <laughs> has been. <laughs> Jack, you do keep control. Time for your third and final question. Released in April 2021, Your Power is a UK top ten single by which American singer-songwriter? You can pass to Carol if you're not sure. Yeah, I'm not too familiar with my chart music. It's not quite my uh, my genre of choice. So, yeah, I'm going to pass to Carol. Carol, is the charts your genre of choice? No. Not particularly. <laughs> so we're looking for an American singer-songwriter. Dolly Parton. Do <laughs> <laughs> Should we go Dolly Parton? Yeah. <laughs> Let's go Dolly Parton. Why not? What do you reckon? Your power. Sounds like the sort of thing that Dolly Parton would have written as well, right? Your power? Yeah. Feels very yeah. apt. Yeah. Let's see if you're right. Is the answer Dolly Parton? Ah, oh, sadly not. Billie Eilish. Billie Eilish was the name oh, of the song. Oh, gosh, yeah. Uh, Jack, another counter for you here. So, where would you like to go with this one? It's a tough decision now. I think with exhausted drops in four, three's looking a bit bare as well. I think I'm going to go drop zone two. OK, let's have drop zone two, please. That's exactly where I wanted it to nice. go. Nice. There's a few there, isn't there, on the bottom shelf, the top shelf's got a few perched on the edge. Oh, I didn't oh want no. to go. <laughs> Never second-guess the machine. I was right, Carol, we come to you. Time for your third and final question. In the human body, the topmost vertebra of the backbone shares its name with which ancient Greek titan? Uh, I'll pass it. Right, Jack. I can't say I know any titans. Um, I feel like it's going to be a really obvious answer when I hear it, but I honestly don't know. So I need a, a name of some sort. As a guess, I'll go with Discus. Discus? Yeah. OK. Carol, what do you think? I think he could be right. I think he might be right. Yeah. It seems like Discus. That seems it like... Sounds if, right. if it was an, if like it could Discus be. <laughs> was an ancient Greek titan. <laughs> but let's see. Is the answer Discus? <laughs> Atlas. 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 Because it's the one that supports the head. Echo. A little bit like Atlas. We yeah. Held up. yeah. Uh, so, Carol, where do you want to put this glass counter? Oh, I'll try drop zone four. See if we can get so that mystery out. I Let's doubt see. it. Yeah, but never know. We'll give it a go. Fire up drop zone four, please. You get that little stack on the edge over and they separate. <laughs> oh, I didn't want to settle for you. A lot of ricocheting. There it is, is a lot, yeah. Oh, it's oh, riding it's as well. Idea. Carol, no! Never mind. <laughs> I'm so sorry. It was always going to be a tough ask after that fabulous yeah. drop that Jack got with the double. But we have come to the end of the round, and Jack is today's winner of £2,450. Well done, you. Well, well done, played. Yeah. I'm amazed. What a turnaround <laughs> in your game. It's been fantastic. Carol, you've been absolutely wonderful. It's been great fun having you here, but I'm afraid. £1,050 we have found at Tim Point. Of course, you did win your Bluetooth speaker, Carol. Yes, thank you very much. It's Our been pleasure. wonderful. Thank you, Ben. I really enjoyed playing alongside you, Carol. Thanks so much. Thank you. So, Jack, well done. As our champion, in a few moments, I'm going to ask you to put this chatbot counter into the machine. It's bigger and better than all the others, because you get this one out, you're going to go home with £10,000. Remember, there's a double counter still sitting there on the top shelf of Drop Zone 1. If you get the two to fall together, and you'd leave with £20,000. Can Jack master the machine by finding a jackpot tipping point? We'll find out after the break. Now, though, for your chance to win an amazing cash prize. For £16,000, go to the website. Entries cost £1.50. Text WIN to 63339. Text cost £1.50 plus one standard network rate message. Call 09041 613030. Calls cost £1.50 plus your network access charge. Or post your name and phone number to TP226, PO Box 7558, Derby DE10NQ. Entrance must be 18 or over. Lines close at 10 a.m. on Monday.
Welcome back to the final part of Tipping Point. It is Jack, who is today's winner and has managed to get £2,450. What a game it's been for you, Jack. It's been fantastic. I honestly thought I was out in that first round, but yeah. I clawed it back somehow. You did. <laughs> Amazing. And now it's just you and the machine, the chance to try and get the jackpot counter out. Have you thought about what you might like to do with money if you get it out? So my partner and I, we've been looking at houses for a while now. We want to buy our first home. Lovely. Uh, so that would be the sensible decision, would be to put it towards a deposit. Are you going to go with that? Is there an unsensible thing that's sitting on the other shoulder? Uh, there is, yeah. Which is what? I, I've been a wrestling fan since I was a child. Right. Um, <laughs> and I would love to fly out to the big yearly <laughs> show in America. Amazing. And I've always wanted to go, just but that would blow most of the money, I think. <laughs> <laughs> well, I tell you what, if you manage to wrestle the jackpot counter out in the machine, it'd be a lovely dilemma to have, wouldn't it? It would, it would. To so either go for the sensible thing or do the thing you've always dreamt of doing. It's up to you, Jack, but best of luck. <laughs> Time to find out whether Jack's going to win our jackpot today. In a few moments, I'm going to ask you to put the jackpot counter into the machine. If you want to go home with £10,000, just need to get it out again. I'm going to pay him £20,000 so you can get it to drop with the double on the top shelf there in drop zone one. Here's how you'll do it. I'll show you six question categories. For each category, you can choose to play one, two or three counters into the machine. The more you play for, the harder the question's going to be. The more you win, the better your chances of getting the jackpot counter out. All right? Excellent. I'm not sure I need to ask you, but I'm going to ask you nonetheless. Where do you want to put the jackpot counter, Jack? I think I want to put it in drop zone one purely for that double counter. Yeah. <laughs> Fire up one, please. Let's see where we end up with this jackpot counter. OK, so nice and tight to the edge of the machine. It would have been nice if it would have got the double on that side, but take what I can get. Yeah, too right. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh. Let's see what we face as and when, but hopefully we can drag them all there together. Yeah. OK, let's have a look at your categories then, Jack. This is what we've got for you. Food and drink, literature, history, film, science and sport. We can play them in any order. So when you're ready, where do you want to start and for how many um, counters? I think I'm going to probably go with my least knowledgeable okay. categories first. So uh, I think we'll start with history. History for how many? I'm going to go with three. History for three. In 1790, mutineers from HMS Bounty settled on which island? East Island, Pitcairn Island or Tristan da Cunha? Do you know this story? I don't, I'm afraid. Ooh. No. I've seen the film. That's a shame. That's a real shame. <laughs> um, this might be really stupid, but I'm going to go with the one that I've heard of. Um, haven't heard of the second one or Pit the third Ken one. Or Tristan da Cunha? No, I've only heard of Easter Island, so just because of that, I'm going to go with Easter okay. Island. We're going to go with Easter Island, please. Did the mutineers from HMS Bounty settle on Easter Island? It was Pitcairn. They settled on the Pitcairn. OK, not to worry. If you don't know, you don't know. Back to the categories. Um, so I think I'm going to go with literature. All right, for how many? I'll go three again. Literature for three. What is the name of the fictional language spoken in the Anthony Burgess novel A Clockwork Orange? Cinderin, Nadsat or Dothraki? Heard of the novel. I haven't read it. OK. But I can eliminate Dothraki. Uh, purely because I know that's from Game of Thrones. Right, OK, good. So Dothraki's gone. So Cinderin or Nadsat? Pure guess. I'm going to go Cinderin. Cinderin? Should we light it up? Let's light it up. Light up Cinderin, please. Have you found the right answer? Is it Cinderin? <sighs> Cinderin's from Lord of the Rings. It was Nadsat. Oh. The Dothraki were a race, weren't they, in Game of yeah, Thrones? Sorry, yeah, I do know that. Oh, yeah. that's so frustrating. So frustrating. Very close. OK, let's go back to the categories. So where do you want to go next? Um, I think we'll go for science next. All right, for how many? I'm going to go three again. Stay with it. Yep. Stay brave. Science for three. The substance polytetrafluoroethylene is better known by what name? PVC, latex or Teflon? It could be sensible to go for PVC purely because they start with the same letter. I mean, is that a, is that a stupid way to go? But <sighs> latex or Teflon? I'm going to go with PVC. PVC? Yes, purely for that stupid idea that they start with the same letter. We're going to light up PVC, please. Is it PVC? Ah, oh, it's Teflon. PVC is polyvinyl chloride. Oh, oh so this isn't going well. great. We're halfway through. Now, we can still do this. Let's have a look at what we've got left. Food and drink, film and sport. OK, I'm going to go with food and drink now. Yeah. OK, food and drink for how many? I'll be going for three again. Food and drink for three. In the USA, spring onions or green onions are referred to by what name? 
Scallions, zucchinis or eggplants? I don't think it's eggplants. Uh, zucchinis also sounds like something different. I think I'm going to have to go with scallions. Just, scallions? Yeah, the other two don't sound like they would be onions. I feel like there are other... Other vegetables it or It could something. be other vegetables, yeah. I'm going to have to go with scallions. Scallions? Yeah. Light up scallions, please. We really, really need this. We're getting we into do. some of your better categories. Have you found the right answer, finally? Spring onions and green onions in the States, are they referred to as scallions? Yeah, well done. Finally got there. <laughs> so zucchinis are courgettes. That's right. Yeah. And eggplants is what we call an aubergine. There we go. Lovely stuff. Jump so one? Of course. Light up, please. Right, come on, let's just get a couple in the right place and everything turns. Oh, it's on the wrong side, I but... Just rolled the other side. That double is there. Come on now. Oh. Lovely. That's all right. Start shifting some money. There's money to be collected. Mm. Two more to go. One again. One again. Light up, please. <laughs> Oof, going to go into the gap. Ah, straight in that gap. OK, one more to go. Mm. Job someone? Yep. Light up. Right, let's just hit that jackpot now, Jack. That would be great. Be kind to me. Ah, Hopefully side. get the double down, then. Let's take that as an alternative. Yes, there yep. we go. Right. Take that. So top shelf very full now. The double's on the bottom. It's moving forward nicely. <sighs> We're getting some counters in the machine, which is good. Let's go back to the categories. Uh, I'm going to go with sport now. Sport for how yep. many? Go for three again. Sport for three. In 1998, which Frenchman scored the first of only four golden goals ever awarded in the men's FIFA World Cup finals? Nicolas Anelka, Thierry Henry or Laurent Blanc? I believe Nicolas Anelka would have been playing a bit later than 1998. Okay. I have a feeling. Um, Laurent Blanc, I'm, I've got a feeling that might even be earlier. Process of elimination, yeah. I'm going to go Thierry Henry. Thierry Henry? Yep. Light up Thierry Henry, please. So it's the first of only four golden goals ever awarded at the men's FIFA World Cup finals, 1998. Was it Thierry Henry? Oh, it was Lauren Blanc. It was Lauren Blanc. It was Lauren Blanc. OK, not to worry. Let's go back to the categories. Film, Jack. Yes, left with film. If it's, if it's kind and it's a film that I've seen, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I think we've got to go for three now, we've though, don't we? We've got to go for three. It's yeah. the only way. You've yeah. set that as your standard all the way through. Yeah. Let's have a look at the film question for three. The film that won the Documentary Award at the 2021 BAFTAs is about what type of sea creature? Octopus, blue whale or sea anemone? I know this. Right, that's good. <laughs> I'm fairly confident. Um, I haven't seen it, but um, I, know, I know about it. I've heard it's very good. I've seen clips, um, so I can confidently say it's octopus. Octopus? Yeah. Go with octopus, please. Let's see if you're right. Is it octopus? Yeah, My Octopus Teacher. It's yeah. a wonderful, extraordinary documentary. Yeah. Thoroughly recommend it. Right, Jack, three counters. It's got to be Drop Zone 1. Let's do Drop Zone 1. It's where all the money is as well, isn't it? Regardless of where the jackpot counter is. But if we get it moving... Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, get flat, get flat. Oh, yes, it's that's flat. good. Start getting that jackpot moving. That would be fantastic. If it does want to go that side, Jack. Yeah, there you go. Excellent. Now, what can we get here? Nice double stub too. Lovely. Six counters. Finally, a bit of money. £2,450 goes up by £300. 2750 Two more to go. One again. One again. Load up, please. I mean, let's get it down, Jack. Let's at least get it over. That yeah. would be great. That's not oh, bad. Is it it's really not bad. Gonna slide it's got to stay gap. on it. It's got to stay on it. It's got to stay on it. Oh! OK, one more to go in. It's got to be drop zone one. And one up, please. Best. Oh. Steady, 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 steady. Oh, don't ride. Don't ride. Please don't ride. Don't ride. Oh! oh. 
It is riding, unfortunately. Now, you might be able to squeeze it a little nudge. No, oh, it's not. Oh, Jack! Oh. <laughs> Hadn't had a rider all day. No. And, and then, then to get one then... Oh, I'm so sorry. It's not gone how we planned. You've got £2,750. Usually at this stage, I would offer you a trade. Three final counts what you've got so far in hope of getting the jackpot count out. Given where it is, I think I know what you're going to say. I need to ask you nonetheless, would you like to take the money or the trade? I'd like to take the money, Ben. Well done, Jack. <laughs> £2,750 is still a lovely amount of money. It is. And, and it... we'll go some way towards the sensible choice or the more fun, exciting choice? I think it'll go towards the sensible choice. <laughs> <laughs> There's a grown-up in there somewhere. Fine there it is. <laughs> Have you enjoyed yourself, Jack? I've had a great time. Thank you very much. Well done. Lovely to play alongside you. There you go. Jack's leading with £2,750. He turned his game around, didn't he, from round one all the way through till that final round. But then we just couldn't quite get enough correct answers and the jackpot counter is still there on the top shelf. Join us next time in the fate of three more players while hanging the balance on Tipping Point. Goodbye.